Hey everyone, so this is taking me a minute to film. As you can see, there's a huge mess behind me. And just let alone just filming this intro is hard because my closet is so chaotic. I honestly am guilty clearly of just shoving things inside my closet. And I recently switched over all my plastic and wire and mismatching hangers to some nice velvet hangers. So I have a blog post I'll link down below for you. And honestly, that just wanted me to keep going and just get my closet right. And I also seen a video by Amber Scholl. Shout out to you, girl. And honestly, she helped redo her friend's closet. And I was like, you know what? Since I already did the top part of my closet, I might as well just keep going. And then I hunted down the kind of unit, the white unit with the glass panel that she used in her friend's closet. So I'm like, you know what? I'm honestly gonna put that in my closet as well. It's actually a TV stand and it works great. So I picked that up from Ikea and this is the name of it, I'll show you now. I don't know how to pronounce it, but that's the name of it. And I got the wider one, there's one that's taller, it comes up just above my hips. And then I was going to buy two Tupperware bins from Ikea, but they always get you. Because so then when I went to the area that it was sold in, they want you to buy the the lid separately and I'm like that's just dumb and it's a lot smaller than I want so I waited and then I went to Walmart and I'll show you the bin that I got so this is the size of the bin so I purchased two one is gonna go probably on the left hand side beside the stand and then the second bin is gonna have whatever else I don't want in my closet and it's gonna go somewhere that's not in my room and over here you can see the dimensions so this one's nice and big. It is 55 liters, so it's gonna hold quite a few things and I wanted it to be clear because then I could see exactly what's inside. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull out everything and I'm not excited, but it has to be done and let's get going. And before that, I will show you a before. As you can see, this is the before. Honestly, everything is just jam packed. Um, yeah, I don't even know what's at the back anymore, so time to clean it up. And just so you guys know, it's going to be more of an organizational video, not so much declutter. Just putting it out there so no one gets confused. And I'll show you up top before we even get started. So I know I have a lot of clothes, so right over here. This is how my closet looks like. And this pink organizational piece, I really don't like it, so I'm gonna try to eliminate that today. That was such a workout. I don't know how I managed to fit everything in my closet. That's a lot of stuff. I know that. So as you can see, my closet is fully empty. There's nothing in it at the moment. It hasn't looked like that in so long. So I'm going to first fit in one of the empty Tupperwares. And then I'm going to put in the unit that I was telling you guys about. And just put a few things in and see how it goes from there. how it looks like and I'm probably gonna have to put in the bin with all my clothes on top if I'm being real with you guys um, but I do like how it looks like when I was building it I didn't use all of these pieces which is crazy I didn't use any of them because 
honestly, I didn't need them because this is meant to be a TV stand. And I didn't. Can you see right here? This is popping out over here. And it's from Ikea, so I didn't want to start screwing anything in and potentially ruining something. And, oh, what I wanted to say is that I can insert a picture for you, but in Ikea, basically it said, like, now or never on this unit. So if you're thinking about purchasing it, I highly suggest that you pick it up ASAP because I think they're going to discontinue it. It also comes in a black-brown and there is a larger size like I previously mentioned. So originally what I wanted to do, I wanted to have some of my smaller purses on either one of these sides and I wanted some shoes. And I didn't realize how high this would come up so I don't know what I'm going to put there yet. how I organize them right over here this is just a spare wallet then I have two of my wristlets over here they happen to be by coach and then I do have my Michael Kors crossbody bag over here and behind the Michael Kors bag I do have this ASOS clutch and there's no strap it folds over it's cute but it can be inconvenient depending on what kind of event I'm going to this one is great for fall. I got it from Payless. This is from Shop Hopes. It's nice, but it gets dirty fast, so I just wiped it down. This one is from Forever 21. Um, this one over here, I got it on Hope Look. It's great for summer. This one I featured in my haul, and this one's from Zara. I just love this clutch, and I haven't used it yet. Tags on it, clearly. And then... To the left of that is more of a fall bag. I got this on Hot Look. And at the very back, I just have this fanny pack. I do use it sometimes. I used it um, when I went to Veld, and it just comes in handy. Love this. And I picked it up from Urban Planet like two years ago. And the shoes up top, if you're wondering, I wore these today. Love the box. I usually don't keep boxes, but I'm gonna keep this one. I got these from my brother for my birthday. And they're just the Tweety Bird ones. Here, I'll show you the other side. They're super cute. I wore them today. I tried to relace them, and they were tied, but now they're not. This is how they look like. I'm still breaking them in, so they're not super comfortable, but I really do like them. I featured this in a haul. And then right beside my Tweety Bird shoes. I also did feature these slides in another haul. So these are the Fenty slides. The box is dirty, but as you can see, oops, upside down. As you can see, this is the box. Someone did take the dust bag out of it, but I really don't care. And these are just the Fenty slides. I haven't worn them a whole lot, but they're very comfortable. And I got them a little bit too big because they didn't have my actual size, but that's okay. Let's keep organizing. I still have a lot of work to do. Okay, so I angled you guys so you can see pretty much what I'm doing. And bad news, the pink closet organizer that I use for my shoes that hangs from the rod of the closet, it has to stay there because I just don't have enough room. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some heels and some sneakers. I'm going to put heels here and then some sneakers here. I'm just going to put a few and see how it looks. So I'm going to do that and I decided to put my high tops because they just can't fit in the organizers that I have hanging, the, the ones that I just mentioned. So I have to put them here because they will fit nicely if they're just displayed like that. And I have cleaned some of my shoes beforehand, so don't need to worry about that. And these ones, I barely wear. They do hurt my feet. I haven't taken the best care of them, so they are a bit mangled, but they're going to be on display anyway because I really like the color. It's just very fluorescent. Um, these ones are great for fall. They're just some high top vans I got at the outlet. Again, it was featured in a haul, so those can go over there. These I just recently cleaned. I love these so much. They're so comfortable. I just, oh, I love these. They're just amazing. They're the Puma Suede's. I got them on sale for like 30 bucks. These are great and yeah, so clean. Love these. Um, I might only be able to display one in each row. Mm, hold on, let me figure this out. Okay, I've been going through my shoes and just really thinking what I want to do. 
So this is what I came up with. Shoes over here on the glass are going to be shoes that I want to display and I don't wear often but I want to wear more. I'm going to push those shoes back and I'm the type of person that I have to see what I own or else I will not wear it at all. Same goes for my jewelry. And then right over here I'm going to put shoes that I wear often because if I'm like downstairs and I'm like oh no I just forgot my shoes I can just run up open the door and then grab them and go downstairs so that's gonna work out well I'm just gonna organize right over here a bit more so let's get to it okay I'm gonna pause for a quick second so these ones I love but they hurt my feet so badly so badly they're just beautiful as you can see, I've put in the little insoles here. They kill my feet, but they look so good once they're on. I always get so many questions. And these ones, I know they're filthy. These ones I wear a lot and they're so comfortable. Of course, with this style of shoe, if you wear it for more than I would say four, maybe five, six hours, then your feet are gonna hurt. But these are so comfortable compared to the other ones. And these ones, I don't think I'll ever get rid of these. They're over the top. And I remember I bought them for New Year's one year and then I was at a venue in Toronto and as I was walking I fell and then I just like ruined these shoes so much as you can see right along here they're just like so ruined maybe this one's worse oh yeah this one is so much worse but I like these so much but they just sit in my storage bin and the heel height Ooh. all right so I moved some things around and then I have two pairs of shoes that I remember hurt my feet but I'm pretty tolerant when it comes to heels hurting my feet some girls just take off their shoes like I just can't for me I can deal with it because like I said I used to work in heels so I can deal with the pain these ones I'm gonna wear um, in a few weeks and if they really hurt my feet like I remember they're going I know they're nice I paid quite a bit of money for them but I can't even sell them because they're just getting old and I haven't been honestly taking good care of them. So if they hurt my feet, I'm going to get rid of them. But these ones are going to go on the front because it's going to remind me to actually wear them. And these ones I bought from the old Aldo outlet in Toronto on, like it's around Young and Dundas. I think it was on Young. So these ones I'm also going to put in the front. I'll wear them eventually this year and if they hurt my feet again they're going and wow I actually have a free space which is crazy okay so I moved you up so you could see a little bit better so I moved the two shoe boxes here on the other side sorry all these clothes are getting in the way but there's four pairs of shoes up top that pretty much wouldn't fit so they're gonna live there these two bins that I had are actually fully empty and I'm so happy I do have extra heel caps and I have needed them before and I've replaced them so I'm gonna keep those and this is really old but it works very well especially for the nude shoes that I remember hurting my feet I bought them specifically for so I'm gonna keep this because it's a really good product as well I think I'm just gonna store it in the shoe box because I don't want it to be seen so I'm gonna do that now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tackle my clothes. I'm honestly just gonna do it off camera because it's gonna take me a long time. I just know that. So I'm actually gonna use one of these that I just told you about. It's completely empty. It's dirty. I really don't want to show you inside. I'm just gonna clean it out and I'm gonna put some of my scarves in there because I just honestly used to hang them from my doorknob. So I'm just gonna do all that off camera and then I'll show you once it's done. See you soon with an update. Okay, I am exhausted. I'm sweating, but it's done. So I'll show you where I put in all my winter gear. So here, let me back it up. So over here, it's just all my scarves, hats, gloves, everything. So I'm just gonna move this out of my room. So over here, so the storage bin was a great idea. And I'm keeping a laundry basket there for like my winter stuff because I don't need to hang it up right now. I actually found another clutch and a coin purse, so I just put them in there. And for the empty space right beside my blue Pumas, I forgot about my bridesmaid shoes, so I'm gonna put them there once I'm done with them. All right, this is the after. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, bye everyone.